Hi everyone! In this video, I will show you how we can apply the concept of expected value and variance when playing games that involve chances. I will use Ragnarok Online X as an example. Here you will see my character, a level 61 Night Lord. In this game, if you want to upgrade or craft equipment, you need to gather materials. And gathering these materials usually involves chances. In the other video, I estimated our chances of catching a Vulcan fish, which is about 68.82% or 0.6882. You might want to check it out if you haven't seen it. Moreover, players are allowed to sell their smelted materials such as Fracon 2 to earn crystals, which can be used to buy other items such as cards, crafting materials, and others. Since stamina, a limited resource in the game, is needed to collect the necessary components of these materials, knowing how much will you get for certain attempts is important so that you can estimate how much you will earn and maximize your profits by identifying in-demand materials. For example, I want to know how many Vulcan fishes will I expect if I'm going to try 10 times. How can we apply the concept of expected value and variance of a discrete random variable to answer that question? To show you how, let's first create the probability mass function of the random variable in table form. We can fill each cell using the formula for a binomial distribution, which is p of x is equal to x is equal to n choose x times p raised to x times 1 minus p raised to n minus x, where n is the total number of attempts, in this case 10, p is the probability of success, which is about 0 0.6882, and x is the number of Vulcan fishes caught in that number of attempts. Using our calculator, let's try to identify the associated probability of these values of x. We can do that one at once using the table function available in this type of calculator. To access the table function, all we need to do is to press mode and click 7 for the table function. Next, we will try to input the formula. In this case, the binomial distribution or the probability mass function of the binomial distribution, which is n, in this case, equal to 10. Then choose x, that's the random variable, times the, the probability of success, which is 0 0.6882, close parentheses, raised to the power of x, forward open parentheses, 1 minus 0 0.6882, close parentheses, raised to the power of n, which is equal to 10, minus x. Here, we don't need to input anything, so press equal sign. So we start from 0, which means we didn't caught any Vulcan fish in the 10 attempts, and we end at 10, which means that we caught 10 Vulcan fishes in our 10 attempts. Step is equal to 1, press equal sign, and here you will have the values. For x is equal to 0, that's about 0 0.00000868. So we will round off our answer to the nearest four decimal places. So this is approximately equal to 0. For 1, this is 0 0.0002. This one is 0 0.0019. This one is 0 0.0112. We can check if our answers are correct by adding all these values here and it should be equal to 1 based on the properties of probability. So let's add this value. That's 0 plus 
and indeed it is equal to 1. Next, let's fill in the values in the third and the fourth column. So for the third column, all we need to do is to multiply the first and the second column. And for the fourth column, we can either square the first column and, and multiply it to the second column or multiply the first column and the third column. So to make the process more efficient, I will fill in third and fourth column simultaneously. And let's do that one. So 0 times 0 is equal to 0. 0 times 0, this is still 0. 1 times this value is the same. And 1 times this value, it's still the same. Here, 2 times this value, this is around 0 0.0038. And for the fourth column, we multiply 2 and 0 0.0038, that is 0 0.0076. Now we do that one to the remaining cell. And this is the completed table. Next, let's compute the expected value denoted by mu, which is equal to the summation of the third column or the summation of x times p of x is equal to x. So we add all the values here and this is about 6.882. Next, we get the summation of the fourth column denoted by the summation of x squared times p of x is equal to x which is about 49.5072. Next, let's compute the variance of the random variable denoted by sigma squared. And this is equal to the summation of x squared times p of x is equal to x minus mu squared. So let's substitute the values. We have um, 49.5072 minus 6.882 squared. And this is approximately equal to 2.1453. Finally, we compute the standard deviation denoted by sigma. And this is equal to the square root of our variance, which is approximately equal to 1.4647. One now, what do these values mean? The expected value or the mean of the random variable is what we will expect if we try 10 times. And that is, we are expecting to catch 7 Vulcan fishes in 10 attempts. Now, it is important to take note that this value will not happen all the time. There will be variations to the values every time we do the task. This variation is represented quantitatively by the variance and the standard deviation. The higher the variance and the standard deviation is, the more likely it is to vary from the expected value. In this case, our variance is about 2.1453 and the standard deviation is about 1.4647. This means that if we will try to catch Vulcan fishes 10 times, we are to expect about 6 to 8 Vulcan fishes. We can also use this one to estimate how much crystals will we earn if we will sell the Fracon 2 we made for this attempt. Since we are expecting to catch 7 Vulcan fishes in 10 attempts, we can create 3 Fracon 2 out of it. For now, let's assume that we have a good amount of level 2 upgrading metal to smelt Fracon 2. In the making of this video, Fracon 2 costs 3,940 crystals. Therefore, our expected income is equal to 3,940 
3 times 3,940. And this is about 11,820 crystals. Notice that we were able to apply the concept of expected value and variance to estimate our income. We can use these values to compare different items that we can smelt and compare which of the items would be more profitable or not. For example, is selling Fracon 2 more profitable than selling Fracon 3? Each item requires different materials and to estimate your income, you may use the concept of expected value and variance since collecting the needed materials for these items involve chances. That's it for our video. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.